Hello and welcome back. I'm Gizmo and today I'll be giving my setup a long overdue upgrade. This is my current setup. It's focused around my LG 34 inch curved ultra wide and my Windows 10 PC, which has served me well for almost five years. However, it's time to move on and upgrade to new and better things. So I recently purchased the new M2 MacBook Pro to help my content creation, specifically when it comes to video editing. Until now, I've been using my custom built AMD Threadripper based PC, which I built about five years ago. Unfortunately, when it comes to video editing, it's now really sluggish, slow and frustrating. After editing on the MacBook Pro, I can't see myself going back to anything else. However, when it comes to editing, as well as having the right machine, you also need the right monitor. And that's why I recently reached out to BenQ, who kindly sent me the perfect monitor to go with my new M2 MacBook Pro. So first, let's begin by dismantling my current setup. Bear with me, this may take some time. So now that we have a blank canvas, let's start to build my new setup and we'll start by unboxing this awesome monitor. Say hello to the BenQ PD3220U, a 32-inch 4K UHD P3 Thunderbolt 3 designer monitor. So in the box you get the following, the actual monitor itself, the base and the stand, the power lead, the hotkey puck G2, several cables including a display port cable, a USB A to B cable, a HDMI cable and a Thunderbolt 3 cable. You also get various instruction manuals and a quick start guide. The design and build quality of this monitor is superb. It's easy to put together. It has a wide and a flat base, which is rather weighty. You simply attach the cylindrical stand to the base and the monitor easily attaches with a simple click. There's a release button on the back to easily detach the monitor from the base as well. This monitor is part of BenQ's designer series and I have to say it looks beautiful and it certainly lives up to its name. It looks like a professional display from every angle. The stand and the base have a silver greyish metallic finish which complements my MacBook Pro perfectly and it has really slim bezels along all four sides. It doesn't even have the usual BenQ branding on the front. This is instead on the base and I absolutely love the way this monitor looks. The monitor feels solid and well made. There's plenty of adjustments. You can adjust the height up to 150 millimeters, rotate the display by a full 90 degrees. You can swivel it to 30 degrees in both direction, as well as some adjustments to tilt the monitor up and down. Now there is a slight wobble from the stand, which I guess is understandable considering the amount of adjustments that you're able to make. This monitor has an abundance of ports. Let's take a look at them all. So starting on the left hand side, you have two USB type A 3.1 Gen 1 ports. These are downstream for connecting to USB devices. 
Then you have a USB type B 3.1 Gen 1 upstream port for connecting to the PC. Then you have a mini USB port for connecting the hotkey puck G2. Then you have the two HDMI ports. These are HDMI 2.0. Then you have a display port. This is display port 1.4. Then you have two Thunderbolt 3 ports. The first one is for video data and power delivery of up to 85 watts. And the second is a video out in daisy chain mode only. You also have the AC power input and a Kensington lock slot. However, we are not done yet. This monitor also has some additional ports on the right hand side. You have a USB-C port. This is for data transfer only a USB-A 3.1 Gen 1 port and a 3.5mm headphone jack input. The PD3220U also has a built-in KVM function which means you can free up ports on your actual PC and have a much cleaner and neater desk setup with less cable clutter. In terms of control buttons, on the rear left hand side you have the power button and control keys along with a small joystick control for selecting different items on the screen menu. However, the PD3220U also comes with the Hockey Puck G2. This connects to the mini USB port on the back and allows you to easily navigate and control the on-screen menus. It feels solid and looks really premium. There is tactile feedback when turning the dial and all the buttons have a nice feel to them this certainly makes navigating the menu system much easier compared to the small controls on the back of the monitor. Honestly, more monitors should come with something like this. So let's talk about the specs. At the time of doing this video, this monitor retails for around £1,000 or so in the UK, which is about US dollars So what exactly do you get for your money? Well, actually you get a lot. If you want a full list of the specs, I'll leave a link in the video description below. However, here are the headline specs. It's a 4K UHD monitor with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. It's an LED backlit IPS panel with a 60Hz refresh rate and a 5 millisecond response time. It supports HDR10 with a peak brightness of 300 nits. It has a KVM function, so you can use one set of keyboard and mouse to control two computers. It comes with the hotkey Puck G2. This awesome little gadget makes controlling the monitor a joy. You can easily access and adjust many of the screen settings. It has BenQ AQ color technology and ICC sync, which ensures truthful and lifelike color reproduction syncs across all devices. It's also SOLIDWORKS certified, Kalman verified and Pantone validated. It has picture in picture mode and it can automatically pivot the display when changing from horizontal to vertical. It has fantastic color accuracy. It supports 95% of DCI P3 and Display P3 and 100% of sRGB and Rec 709 color gamut. It has an average Delta E value of 3. It has specialized display modes tailored for all designers including darkroom mode, animation mode, CAD or CAM mode and MBook mode. This is the mode which I'm looking forward to the most. The MBook mode synchronizes the color profile to match the colors of the MacBook Pro screen. And finally, it's a Thunderbolt 3 display. This means I can connect my MacBook Pro with a single cable for data, video and to charge my MacBook Pro at the same time. A single Thunderbolt 3 cable does it all. It provides up to 85 watts of power. So let's talk about why I picked this monitor for my new M2 MacBook Pro setup. Well, there are a few things that attracted me to this monitor. Firstly, the design. I love the way this monitor looks. It looks really clean with extremely thin bezels. This gives it a nice and almost floating look. I like the stand and the base. The color and finish complements the MacBook Pro. It looks really professional and minimalist. I like the way the BenQ branding is on the bottom corner of the base. It's very subtle rather than in your face. I like the fact that you can rotate the monitor vertically without the need to purchase a separate monitor stand or arm. 
I absolutely love gadgets and the fact that this monitor comes with the hotkey Puck G2 really appeals to me. It's a nice little gadget to have on your desk but it also provides a really valuable function. I like the idea of being able to control the menu system with an easy to use dial and buttons rather than having to fiddle around and reach behind the monitor. I think this is the perfect screen size, 32 inch is the perfect size for a monitor, especially a 4K monitor. I think 27 inch would have been a little too small as I'm used to working on larger screens. Now I am a content creator, I am slowly getting into creating more and more videos and I want to create the best quality content that I can and the fact that this screen offers so many options for designers and content creators is a real selling point. It has several different colour modes which you can easily switch between using the hotkey Puck G2. You can even display two different colour modes at the same time for comparison purposes. This monitor has fantastic colour accuracy and an abundance of ports and features. And finally, one of the best selling points for me is that this is a Thunderbolt 3 monitor. This means I can create a clutter-free setup using a single Thunderbolt 3 cable. I can connect my M2 MacBook Pro and this will provide not only data and video, but it will also charge my MacBook at the same time. This gives my desk a really nice and neat look. And of course, the PD3220U also has a special M-Book mode to sync the color profile of the MacBook Pro perfectly, making this the ideal companion for the new M2 MacBook Pro. Well guys, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. I'm really happy with my new setup and how it's turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned as next time I'll be adding a second BenQ 3220 to the setup to form an amazing dual 32 inch 4K setup. I can't wait. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below and I'll do my best to come back to you. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, take care and I'll see you on the next one.